Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are Pull on the Call. My name is Mandy Mack. And I'm Chris Rivers. <laughs> and this is episode 17. And today we are here wow. with the amazing Peach Buzz. <laughs> Hi, Hi, yeah. you? Thank you guys for yeah. having me. I'm so excited. Love it. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much for <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time and and sharing your story with us today. But um, let's do you want to go a little bit into um your background and of your history in Paul or? <laughs> oh yeah. Um. So I guess like my whole inspiration kind of started off when I was like younger, and like a lot of people, I saw. Like on TV, I'm pretty sure it was on TV. I saw like a girl going around a pole or something. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. So I was like, ah, oh, I want to see that. So when I got older, I turned 18. I went to my first like actual strip club where I seen a girl doing all these crazy tricks and stuff on the pole. And I saw her do um, a jade. When I The first time I ever seen that, I was like, oh my God. Like, you, somebody can do that with their body. Wow. So for me, it was like a form of art. And it was also like something that was like really athletic, like a very hard thing, a very hard ability to have a skill you had to work at, like any other sport, really. And I thought it was just like so aesthetically beautiful and pleasing to look at. I just wanted to like give it a try myself. So I figured I couldn't get a pole in my house. <laughs> so I just ended up like becoming a stripper and just dancing in a strip club. <laughs> so it kind of worked out that way, which is like weird. And I actually like enjoyed myself becoming a stripper. So I just kind of like stayed in that line of work. And I just been like practicing pole here and there. Um, that was about, I think, two years ago. Now I'm like, I'm grateful enough to actually be like in pole competitions. <laughs> I was going to say that was like right when I, maybe when I, right a little bit after I, when I met you. Yeah. So it was you like, were so, like so good at pole, like so, so I good. Remember. Just like fluid and beautiful and flexible and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you were not even pulling for that long. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any history and flexibility or dance that helped you with pole? I think in my, um, opinion what a lot of it because I, I was never a flexible person like I, I did cheerleading when I was a kid um I ran track and did all this other stuff but I never stretched so when I started like actually doing like yoga daily and it was more I wasn't focused on the flexibility part it was more so for, like mindfulness the flexibility kind of came with it because when you sit in yoga poses longer and you could just like get comfortable with it your body gets more used to being in these poses, these positions. So it's like, I don't know, it was really, it was crazy for me. I would spend like hours doing this. Like I had nothing else better to do in my life. <laughs> so I did that for about a good year. I'm not religious with it now. I'll go to the gym and I'll stretch maybe three times a week. And I'll spend like about an hour, like really stretching. So it's kind of like whatever is easiest for you, whatever works better for you. Um, it's more so becoming aware of your body. Um, I realized like parts of my body that hurt more, a little bit more tender. Um, if you ever get one of those deep massage tissue guns, they kind of help really well trying to figure out what areas of your body you have to work on more. And it's kind of just like, yeah, getting to know yourself and stretching what you need to stretch more often. Hey. I love this approach to um, like not really thinking about flexibility. You're just like listening to your body rather than being like, I'm going to get my splits. I'm going to get my back bends. I think that's a really awesome way to go to go about it for sure. <laughs> I used to think for the longest I could never do a split because it just seemed so impossible to me because I didn't have the, the skill set, the technical skill set to get there. So like, like I said, like getting to know your body um, and pushing yourself a little bit further and further. That's um, where a lot of people tend to struggle about at because it's like, it's very hard to actually injure yourself if you are comfortable in the positions that you're in. If you can move a little bit here and there, 
um, you'll feel a little bit more tension, but like figuring out what's uncomfortable versus like what's pain, that will help you like a lot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Being completely mindful in it rather than pushing it for sure. Yeah. yeah. But it's so funny. Like I, I for sure thought that you were just naturally flexible. And I remember when, when I was telling you that you were flexible and you were surprised. <laughs> It gets like, me, yeah. You really worked at it. That's so amazing. Hell yeah. Some stuff that I look at some people and I'm like, they do it so naturally. Like, mm. um, like your hamstrings, my hamstrings are terrible. Like some people, they're just like super flexible with it and they can just like do certain tricks. I'm like, oh. but I guess when I look at it, like my body, there's certain stuff that I can do with my body and have more muscles built in certain areas. And then I'll watch other pole dancers and you kind of see the same um, or the differences between like how their body is structured and having a conversation with another girl helped me realize like there are some tricks that we can physically do how our body lets us. And some people, they have to make a bit of modifications um, or variation to be able to do that proper trick. That's so true. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well thank you so much for sharing that that's so amazing I love like the more the more mindful approach to training as well I think that a lot of us um we get like um destination based in our training wow. where we where we don't really enjoy the journey where but that's where like the magic is for sure <laughs> I think when you think like that it's it it tends to slow you down a bit because you're always worried about hey, I'm not reaching here. I'm not getting here when I need to get here. It's always nice to set goals, but mm -hmm. it's also better to have patience. Um, Cause especially when you're stretching contortionists, they take years to get to where they are. And mm -hmm. that's because they're doing it daily for hours. And, you know, if you don't have the time to do it daily for hours, like contortionists are doing, of course it's going to take like a little bit more time, but it's just day by day taking it. At least you're doing it. You're improving mm -hmm. bit by bit. Yes. Yeah. And it makes it more fun too. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely does. I love that you said that. It definitely does. You're like 100% right. Sometimes when we have that go, like we just completely lose the joy of it. and It slows down our progress rather than enjoying it, which kind of speeds it up because you're actually being mindful. And like you said, getting to learn your body. <laughs> Yeah. So then, then how do you train for competition? Like what's your, your kind of like schedule for yourself when you know you have to like get in front of everyone and do, do the thing? <laughs> well, I'll, I think what I'll do is I'll have some sort of like list in my head of tricks that I already know I can do that I've like practiced forever. And then if I want to incorporate maybe like five new tricks I'll try to like learn those five new tricks see how I can incorporate those into what I already know because most of my um actually all of my competitions are like just freestyling you like you kind of just get up there and you figure it out whatever it is you want to do then and there um and it's it's fun like that it's kind of like if you go and have like a rap battle and you're just freestyling it's like yeah it's it's hard to plan for something that's like that spontaneous it's more so like just conditioning your body to be able to handle the minute to five or 10 minutes you might be dancing. Um, and really like it's more mental too because there's people watching you. It's not like you're at home or your pole class <laughs> and there's all these flashing lights coming down on you. You can't see nothing. <laughs> so it's like um, trying not to psych yourself out. Like prepping too much tends to psych me out. So I try to like, if I'm home, do a little bit here and there, but like once I'm there on my trip, I just like relax until my actual competition. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I, I think I remember when we were training together for the first time and we really worked on just like endurance and like getting through like a three minute song and stuff like that. But you had such a beautiful flow. <laughs> I'm still, it blows my mind. You were like such a young polar and you were like killing it. <laughs> I mean, you're it's still so killing much it. Fun. It's so much fun. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I also like that the um, the competitions you do are more freestyle too, because that I think that's really more like uh, authentic. Like you said, you you train those tricks, and then however they they manage to go in your flow is just like random, and that helps keep you like more aware during your um, your competition too. <laughs> yeah, I love that she said but she said that also because I'm thinking about doing freestyle because I'm like you, I just psych myself out when I have this plan and know I want to do it. And I really am starting to enjoy freestyle. So if you recommend it, I'm definitely going to try it. <laughs> Chris, Chris, you kill freestyle. <laughs> You're very sweet. I, I, think that is, I think that's true about a lot of performers. Like if you like, performers they just go out and they like do the thing no matter what even if they don't have anything planned so yeah I think that that's just because you guys kill it <laughs> <laughs> well let's take um what what are your um some of your inspirations in the pole world do you have any like pole idols that you look up to or follow all the time yeah, so um, everybody probably knows who she is. <laughs> um, I I actually saw her for the first time at Exotica, which is like where I do the full competition. So Spinning Shay, special shout out to Spinning Shay. I love Spinning Shay. Um, so when I met her in person, she's so humble. She's so sweet. And I don't know why, because I was like fangirling her super hard. I'm like, I don't know. If she's like nice or mean or like, I don't know. If she's like one of those mean strippers. But no, like she's super amazing. Like, and I seen her in person perform. It's oh, my God. She's like her skills is like top notch. And it's like I she's a contortionist, but also her flow is amazing, too. Like, it's one thing to be able to do like tricks, but it's another thing to be able to like dance with your tricks and I, I really appreciate that about her um so she's like top top number one um I really, really like tattoo kitty though she's like cool too she's like on instagram to doing her little pole thing and it's like I love her um I always forget Regina she actually like um studied at um your pole studio too I, I forget her full name but um, she's on Instagram too. You might know who I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I gotta figure out if I can. I know she performed with Snoop Dogg and I'm, I know her name is Regina something. And I'm like, oh, I can't remember her because I lost my Instagram and I don't know the other one. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the battle with Instagram and pole dancers. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, so far they're they're being okay but yeah. <laughs> it's always with the music thing yeah oh also for guys um there's young pole master who was really nice oh yeah 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 yes. he's super cool <laughs> <laughs> nice well what about um some of your uh pole like what was your pole nemesis or maybe a trick that you haven't gotten yet that you really want to get or the trick that you really wanted to get that you finally got um pole nemesis well honestly I think it would be like superman because it's like the entry to that can get like iffy sometimes if you're not on the right like angling like you're not angling your body correct and I'm like oh pole burn <laughs> instant pole burn it's like oh no coming down the pole <laughs> but it's like it's such a beautiful trick and it's like easy transition but it's just like being able to do it right yeah <laughs> I feel that for sure. And then like, once you're in it, you're like, what do I do out of this thing? <laughs> <laughs> and then what is one, one trick that is like your jam? What is like your go-to trick? Actually, I, I've, I've fallen in love with Brass Monkey since I've been able to like learn how to do it. Yeah, I want to learn the variations of it, but I, I realize like that's one of the few tricks that's like really, really hard for people to, like, like learn straight off the bat. And I don't really see it perform too much when I'm in the pole competition, surprisingly. So I'm like, it's a beautiful, um, a beautiful trick. Mm -hmm. Have you tried the brass bridge since the last time I saw you? I have. 
I yes! have, I'm like <laughs> I'm like so close to like being able to like I can hold it for like a second and then I'm like wow. I, I psych myself out um but <laughs> I, I can, like, yeah. yeah it is it is oh, I'm so excited for that trick for you <laughs> I'm gonna nail it one day. And I'm like, yeah. yeah well, you you I did mention that there. you have like a hamstring thing. Yeah, I also so have a hamstring thing, and I know. also hate brass monkeys. So I think that brass monkey, since it takes a lot of hamstrings, that's why we hate it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll try to strengthen so our hamstrings. So it's that like if you don't if you don't like if you have a hamstring thing, it affects their brass monkey. Yeah, that I've been finding more often, like if someone tells me like they have weak hamstrings or like they're really flexible hamstrings, the brass monkey will be like, ah, please be near me. Ah, <laughs> uh, because like peach fuzz, that's my one of my new favorite moves. It has so many entrances, so many exits. The brass monkey is just like gorgeous. Yeah. Right. I, I want to get it too. Like, <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I can teach it to you. I'll teach you the brass bridge too. That has become one of my favorites. <laughs> right? Like I can get into the brass bridge. Like some things I can get into, but like other things. That's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, back. <laughs> <laughs> Is Chris, do you have a question for I have a few more? I do. Um, you mentioned an earlier competition and I forgot the name. Can you tell us more about that competition? Because I've never even heard about it up until today. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I, I never heard about it either up until like last year. So last year was my first year going. And um, I saw I actually saw some people like post videos, but I never knew what it was. So it's Exotica. And Exotica is kind of like how I look at it. You have like Comic-Con, which is like a convention for nerds and like Exotica is like a convention for like geeked out porn fans and like yeah people who shoot porn and like content creators and entertainers and like people who sponsor other people and people who sell stuff people who affiliated with BDSM community like it's a whole big like yeah big thing so part of um me being there is like entertaining like dancing around doing certain things and then I'll have like the poll competition which they have it's three days long and then I have it two, uh, two out of those days um, and you can compete and win $500. Um, but there's other competitions like uh, Miss Exotica, you can compete and win $700. And a lot of people, they'll do poll during that competition, but it's not like mandatory or anything. So it's actually like a really nice, like, I guess that's a vanilla event, the vanilla side of porn. Um, so a lot of people just come and just like get to meet people and have a blast. OMG, I absolutely fucking love that. Yeah. <laughs> I know all of your videos that. that you post are, they, it looks like there's just so much fun. Facts. Yeah, I definitely want to check it out at some point. <laughs> so they actually Maybe have like um, somebody on a Laura hoop dancing. Um, and then they have like um, somebody in the silks in the air dancing too. And I actually had like a lot of fun. I did like rope suspension. So I was in the air doing like tricks on rope. So I'm yeah. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> that sounds so cool. You should oh go. God, you yeah. definitely win. Yeah, I definitely want to. <laughs> well, I will I'll go and support first. If I, I don't I don't know if I would compete. Because that's three days. Like that's a lot. Like so you, you and you get through the first round and then you come back and you do the next round. Yeah, so um, it's funny because it's like, it's Saturday and Sunday, and it's literally only for like 15 minutes, <laughs> both days. <laughs> but it's like, the whole thing is like for hours, but you're only literally dancing for like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, not even that. That's Your a lot. Competition itself is maybe like two to five minutes, but the whole thing is like 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. But I'm uh, like, if, I, I I thought about it, I'm like if Mandy came, she would fuck it up. And like... <laughs> She would win. <laughs> can men perform? That would be fun. Can I yeah, don't even know? Yeah, men can definitely. Fun. Yes. Oh, I'll get my little game. The ass three of us, me. head to head. That would be so much fun. <laughs> that would. Oh my goodness. Um, so they already passed. So they're probably preparing for next year. So we still have time. Well, well, there's um three more this year. 
there's the closest one is in New Jersey. Okay. And you travel wow. all around to all of them then. Yeah, I'm gonna try to yeah. do all of them this year. That's I haven't so done much fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. That is exciting. That and is it's like exciting. so nice because when I'm competing with like the other contestants, I, I call myself amateur. I feel like I'm really amateur. And I feel like they're like they consider themselves like the same. Like we're all shitting bricks right before we're starting. We're all like, oh my God, can we even do this? I hope I don't fall off the pole. Anybody got pole grip? Like it's so much stuff going on. And like at the end, everybody comes off the stage, like either like alleviating from their like panic attack or like they're gasping for air. And they're like, oh my God, I did it. Like <laughs> it's definitely everybody has anxiety attacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Like no one is spared from anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so it only lasts like 15 minutes so how many um competitors usually are there this time around I think there was 10 yeah. oh wow that's not even a lot yeah no I think 10 is the max that they do and it's usually on like a stage pole yeah, yeah. that's something to think about too <laughs> I don't like the stage poles. <laughs> yeah, the stage pole is hard to deal with, especially like with heels and everything and floor work. I remember when we were talking about floor work. <laughs> it's actually like super impossible to do smooth floor work on their yeah. stage. It's like the whatever material they put on the stage, it feels like a hard, like rocky, like I don't know. It's like crazy. Uh. And I had I still have a little scar from when I was like oh. twerking my ass on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, it's impossible. They, they really only want you to do pole, pole work the whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Now we know. <laughs> uh, the whole experience still sounds fun though. Just like the environment, the different booths that you might encounter. I would definitely go down there for a weekend. Even if yeah. not just to compete just to like experience it yeah yeah for sure <laughs> um, one like neat thing is I ran into somebody who did tantric massages um it felt amazing like I got a 15 minute massage but my friend got three hours and she said that she had like several tantric experiences during that um and it's like they also had people selling cool items like if you're into like spanking they had like per professional made like floggers and like paddles and stuff like that um it's just really cool like stripper wear I love just like finding like random places to buy exotic wear from because I don't want to go to the same place all the time it's nice to like have different looks so they have like vendors selling that um they really have vendors for everything they have like cannabis vendors so I guess like you can go and buy as much weed as you wanted because um they don't I don't know how oh because they were a hip company <laughs> So they didn't follow the standard cannabis rules. Um, uh, it's like stuff like that. It's like, it's so cool. Cause it's like, it's different kind of community of people who are just like, Hey, you're a part of the lifestyle in your own little way. Let's like have fun. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely sounds like super duper fun. <laughs> well, so you've been doing this for like what, two, two years, you said? Yeah, I'd say two, three. Yeah, two, three. And what what are like long term plans? What are you thinking of of doing? Long term, <laughs> I actually I've always wanted to be in the traveling circus for some reason. <laughs> like I literally legit. And then like two years ago, no, two or three years ago was the first time I seen like poles in the actual circus. And I'm like, oh, they're pole dancing now. That's a plot twist. <laughs> and I saw the actual dances that they were doing. And I was like, oh, these are really like easy tricks that they're doing. It's nothing really too complicated there. Everybody's just in sync. So it looks like, you know, more natural and um, aesthetically pleasing. And I just figured, you know, all the stuff that we learn in pole dance class is like, we we would body these people in the circus so I'm like <laughs> one day one day I'll, I feel like I'll just like be there to perform you know I think it'd be cool to travel the world go perform places yes you should start the circus 
like yes. Peach Bowl's traveling circus. Yes, <laughs> that sounds so amazing already. Like, I feel like it'll be amazing. I feel like people don't yeah. like appreciate arts like that anymore. Like live operas, like live performances, live jazz. Like no one ever like goes out to like do that stuff. Yeah, that's true. No one does go out anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, we will. <laughs> I, you know, I also wanted to run away with the circus. So if you do start up the circus, please yeah. <laughs> bring me along. <laughs> That'd be so amazing to just fun. travel and pull. And... But that's kind of like what you're doing already, isn't it? Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're living the dream already. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever um, think about teaching? Um, no. The only reason why yeah. is because I feel like I'm, I get like nervous to teach people stuff because like I have, I don't have the patience that I need and I, I, I can become a real bitch. I feel, I feel like people are taking too long and I don't, I don't mean to, I just, I can direct and instruct very well, but if I have to like be there, like coaching you, it's going to piss me off. <laughs> so it's like, I, I'll help people like, um, like I run into and I'm like, Hey, can you teach me this trick real fast? I don't mind doing that. Like, yeah, sure. But I don't want to be responsible for your education. <laughs> I love that this is so funny because you revealed to us that you are very patient with yourself but you don't have any patience for anyone else I don't know. <laughs> it's the Virgo in me oh my <laughs> at least so she's funny. honest right? like at least you know like and you don't like waste your time like being like let me why is this not working out <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> see I feel like I'm the opposite though I really have a ton I'm not patience with myself but I have so much patience for students <laughs> that's cool <laughs> but you inspired me about your the way that you train and I'm gonna um, try to take that into the studio with me and and see if I can like be less destination based um, yeah. and try to enjoy <laughs> a little bit more <laughs> <laughs> It's nice. Um, also, like another thing I'll do if I don't want to like actually stretch or like do any yoga is just like literally just like move around and just do stuff. Like I think we did it in your studio. Yeah, we did yeah. it in your class um, one day. We just got up and just started moving and just doing stuff. And like if you follow a lot of floor work, like um, accounts on Instagram that do floor work, a lot of times they're just doing like freestyle floor work and they're just moving around. And I think that just like loosens up everything, gets you in the mood and all happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it gets you out of your head too. Cause like dance comes from like your whole body. And sometimes we're like, I have to do what the teacher is doing. But then when you are allowed to like free flow, you can like dance yeah. <laughs> and get in your own body. Yeah. I mean, Someone like, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, like, your advice is very teacher <laughs> Like, you're very, like, <laughs> I know you don't want to be a teacher, but you are. <laughs> I was like, oh, know. yeah, I should. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I can, like, maybe I can do, like, an instructional book or something and have somebody teach it for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you're, I mean, or, at least you're, like, like an online course. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Yeah. 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 Your own online program. <laughs> you know, somebody else thought that maybe I should like get on YouTube and like do like pull tricks, like short tutorials or something. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And or figure out a way to monetize it too, because you don't need to do it on YouTube for free. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, um, Chris, do you have another question? Um, so I know you mentioned a little bit about Exotica and Miss Exotica. Have you done any other folk competitions out there? No, I actually haven't. Those are my first. <laughs> I think they're gonna probably gonna be my first and only. I get like a little nervous, like traveling to different places that I'm not like extremely comfortable with. So like I only go to Exotica and I stay at my one club. So those are literally the only two places I dance at. Yeah. 
<laughs> it was your first, but it was hard, exotic, and sexy. <laughs> it was a big jump. Yeah, that's fun. OMG. Um, any other, like, how do you say, performances that are memorable for you? Anything at all? I'm trying to think. I feel like I can't think of anything right now because probably the most memorable one just happened. And that was like when I did the rope suspension um, because I don't know what you call it on the pole, but um, I think you call it a ballerina. I, I, I did that in the, on, in the rope somehow. <laughs> and then like, I also did like a mid split in the rope, which was pretty cool. So people were just like, oh like, yeah. <laughs> that sounds so beautiful and amazing. Are there pictures of these? Ah, I, I can't wait to yeah, see. Yeah, I'm going to put it up on Instagram eventually. Nice. I was like, I can't hit That's you. That's exciting. You got to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Release them. <laughs> Facts. Schedule it all out. <laughs> yeah. I saw also, like, last week on your Instagram, you were posting some really, like, personal biographical, um, like, stories about your philosophies. Do you want to um, touch upon some of those? They're really beautiful image. If you haven't seen them, they're beautiful images. And she just like wrote some really beautiful words about um, some important things. So <laughs> do you want to um, let us know? Sure. So I, I like did like um, a photo shoot of like me. Um, and I, I kind of like had this idea of like, like posting each picture and like doing a little story with each picture about like my journey in sex work in the sex work world because you know dancing is part of it but then there's other parts of me that's just connected with like different things a part of the sex world and it's come to like help me realize other people's journeys and what they go through um as far as like the um, performers and sex workers and their clients, everybody kind of has like a reason why sex work is beneficial to them. And I, I kind of made a post to make people more aware that we are humans like everybody else. We might gravitate toward like this line of work or we ha might have these interests, but that doesn't like make us who we are. Um, what makes us who we are is like what makes us who we are not what we do. <laughs> so I just thought it was like really important that people are aware that it's more beneficial than it is negative because there's like a stigma behind sex work. And I think it stems a lot from like um, older culture, really not from like this younger generation. We're more like liberated and we're more like, you know, everybody be who you want to be. But I think like there's more older generations that look down upon it. And I think this is one of the reasons why we can't get it like legalized and we can't have, you know, proper like health insurance and protection. And, you know, there's and it goes really deep to where there's like sex workers who um, are working independently and they are in situations where you know they're unprotected and something's happening to them and it's sad because you see a lot of death rates rise because of that and I think this is like a really important thing so I just made that post because even some people um, it's just like really one-sided one-sided about it because they've only ever been taught what other people have taught them about it a lot not a lot of people have gone and done their actual research about sex work yeah I really I appreciated that you even related it to like as, as a form of therapy because I think that I mean we see it in the poll studio as well like when people are are finally like in tune with their sexuality and allowed to like experience themselves in that way they really like yeah. life-changing <laughs> yeah even with that, like, I'll use that for example, like a lot of people, they'll be like pole dancing, like, am I sexy enough to do that? Like, do I have the body for that? And that's just all the negative stuff that you've ever heard society say about like, you know, your body type, about, you know, yourself, you've kind of like drilled into your mind that you're not able to do these things. Mm -hmm. And it sucks because it's like, you know, you can, you, you're able to, it's like, People just want to make you feel bad if you don't look like some certain way. Um, but just that, like being able to just go into the pole dancing class and have that mindset really shows you like 
how society treats certain things. Yes. Yeah. 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 I really appreciated you enlightening. It, it touched me for sure. And it reminds me also like why we, you know, do what we do and, mm-hmm. and be authentic about who we are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you for doing that. One of you for the rest right? of your life, <laughs> right? And like you're gonna spend your whole life, like ah, uh, you know, wishing that it was some other way. But we all have a body, you know. If you can move it, you know, move it the way that you want to do it. Move it or lose it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any do you have any advice for anyone in maybe the pole world or also even the adult entertainment industry um, for anyone maybe wanting to get into it? Yes, um, I definitely say find your own path, figure out what's comfortable for you. Um, like going off of what I said before, one person might be able to do something, another person might not. So Try not to compare your journey to anyone. It's really hard for us not to do that because we like to compare things naturally as human beings. But it's important to, you know, know your value, your self-worth and what you're being for for yourself. That's the best advice. (laughs) (laughs) Excellent. I think, Chris, that's all of the, the questions that I had. Um, yes. So I did want to, I mean, I guess you answered a little bit of with what you just gave us, but I did want to ask what is like your, how do you say your outside job? Because we know you're an adult entertainer, but there's so many forms of adult entertainment. Um, do you mind going into that and elaborating? If that's if up to you, you can always say no. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. So outside of like, you know, you guys know about the dancing, stripping. So outside of that, I also do like videography. So I am behind the camera, editing, producing. Um, sometimes I write scripts. Um, I like make flyers, marketing, promos, um, logos, um, any like digital media thing you could think of, I'm pretty like good at. Um, I'm like also in front of the camera. So I'm producing my own videos. Um, I have my own video clip store sales. You can buy stuff. I'm also on like the tube sites. So like I have my free stuff up, so, you know, I have fans that watch all of that. And then I also do like fan meets. So I'll go see people and they're like, Hey, can I come see you? And I'm like, of course you can come see me. So like when I travel, I'll go meet up with people and I'm like, Hey, and it's like, it's nice. So like, that's where um a lot of my pleasure comes from because I'm like I'm helping people out in like all these different types of area and I just genuinely have like so much love I just want to share everybody and it's like it's so gratifying for me because I feel like not everybody is meant to be in this kind of line of work but if you enjoy what you do and I feel like I can like send out happiness in like all these different directions that somebody else might not be able to then that just it just makes me want to like continue to do it more. <laughs> I wanted to say too, like, that's exactly how, like, you're just such a, like a bright light. That's how I see you. And like, you're just a beautiful person. <laughs> like right from the first time I met you. So I'm just, I'm so happy that we can like continue, oh, you know, the relationship. I <laughs> now you. I get to learn more <laughs> about you and love you even more. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. No, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for giving me a platform to express, like, you know, the industry that I work in and talk a little bit about it, make it more real. I really appreciate that. Yes. Yeah, yes, we love it. Pole dancers come in every shape, size, occupation. And yes, we want to share exactly. all their stories. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, I think, Chris, do you have any other questions or? Um, I think you asked her what are her future plans, right? Yeah, yeah. No teaching, okay, yeah. except she is a teacher. No. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, an, maybe an online course. Yeah. <laughs> and the Peach Fuzz Traveling Circus. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. That would be fun. <laughs> yes. Um, I guess just a what simple random question. Oh. Two. One is we always ask what hand grips you use. Oh yeah. 
And the other one is like, what are your just like every other day hobbies? What else do you like to do besides creating content and pole dancing? Okay. Um, the hand grip, I actually just learned like last class, the names of the hand grips. And I, I, I swear I didn't even get them all. <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I can't remember which one I was like really good at. Um, I think there was one like the twisted hand grip was like really fun. Um, that one seemed like, I don't know why it just seemed like a little bit easier just to like twist your shoulder and like, like deadlift yourself off the pole. Um, and then yeah. Wait, what was the other question? <laughs> Wait, the, there was another uh, person we interviewed too that that took it as um, pole grips, but we mean um, like hand grips that you use on your body oh, and your. <laughs> yeah, twist the grip is, is a good grip. <laughs> um, I, I wish I had it on me. It's like it's from in, it's it's on Amazon. Uh, Wait, I can pull it up real fast. Oh, in the it's meantime, not like let me answer the other one. <laughs> it's not like a, a regular grip it's like a special one. Oh, there it is okay it's the one that i think everybody uses oh the dry hands yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> excellent and nothing else have you tried other other grips um somebody had like a i don't know if it's the right name is like a grip pomade it's oh, like yeah it's and like a little wax yeah, yeah um that was really cool i didn't get the name of it but um it like felt really nice. Yeah, yeah. I think it might be iTac or Trick Tac or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I Chris, you're on mute, Chris. <laughs> Chris is on mute. Oh, I was disagreeing with you. Tac two, iTac, so many of them. <laughs> and I think the other question was, what other hobbies do you have um, besides video editing and pole dancing and creating? Um. So like. I said I like I just bake some cookies I like baking cookies <laughs> I like baking like um desserts um cakes pies I like gardening um I grew my own weed before I grow my I like take care of my plants grow vegetables um really big into crystal collecting I love crystals love watching new series anime series um Art, I love art, being out in nature just in general, um, and just coming up with like cool new like looks for myself. <laughs> I love it, absolutely fun. <laughs> I love also that you have those delicious cookies just like sitting there the whole time and you didn't eat any of them. <laughs> I was like, I've been thinking about them this whole time. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even like, <laughs> I had half of it just sitting here on the laptop so I'm like come on <laughs> don't eat it <laughs> and I'm like I just smoke too so I'm like really high I'm like I want to eat the cookie but you have something to do right yeah. now don't eat the cookie he's <laughs> like eat me <laughs> eat me eat me no like honestly like cookies are the shit um if I if I wasn't so invested into like everything I'm doing right now um, when I have free time, I actually want to open up my own store selling cookies. <laughs> ah, I yeah. love that. Oh, an aphrodisiac cookie to get the sexual juices going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be like the sexy cookie store. The you can have poles cookie. everywhere. <laughs> oh, God, I love her. And each fake good has some aphrodisiac to get you started. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> future plans what else are we gonna do <laughs> oh my gosh you do so many things though like and they're all artistic you're just like the, the most artistic person I've ever met I think probably <laughs> yeah and, yeah and, and I guess I do have one more question um if you don't have another one Mandy sorry yeah no I'm, I'm all set <laughs> <laughs> um is it all worth, was it all worth it? Um, Cause I know sometimes as content creators, we, it's hard and we are like, is this worth it in the end? Is this truly what I want to do? Like, was it all worth it? Like just be um, sharing your story, truly being you and fully becoming the content creator that you want it to be for other people out there that may want to, and they just don't know how to. 
Yeah. So I love that you asked that question. Like, I love it. And I think the reason why, like, a lot of people ask that question is because of the stigma that we, like, go through as content creators. Um, Because it's easy to ask, like, hey, is it is it okay that I'm investing my time into this? And you could easily just quit, but this isn't something you can easily just quit once you've invested your time and put your face out there. So I love that you asked that question. Like my roommate asked me this question too, because she's just like, do you put up with so much stuff that you go through? And it's like, as a sex worker, like, why would you want to do this? Um, And there's always a bright light at the end of anything. That's how I look at it. And any challenges that you're going to face and overcome it's always going to guide you onto the bright path that you're going to be at and I think anything that's worth having is worth working towards so you know me being you know I'll give you this I'm a black female um pansexual person so I'm a part of LGBTQ community I'm black and I'm just like a female so that's like so much shit already coming at me from like left and right. Me being a sex worker is just another thing that it's just like, whatever, I'm already used to this. <laughs> so I think like if you're if you're ex- more acceptable with like who you are in life and you know, like this is the life that you want to live, this is the path that you want to be on, do it. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Like sometimes I'll be like sitting there like crying and I'm like, oh my God, am I even supposed to be doing this? Like, am I even like, supposed to be like doing content right now I'm like am I like this well-known person that I think that I am like who's gonna know me in 10 years but like that's just you like that's just you being hard on yourself that's really because you, you you might have one fan you might have a thousand fans but you still have one fan and that's that one fan that you didn't have yesterday <laughs> that one fan can be like that one person to change around your whole life and you never even know facts i love that you said that thank you so much for sharing it truly because as you know we're always in our heads <laughs> and it's, it's, it's sometimes hard to take that first step yeah so don't think it's just because like the level that you're at because i'm seeing people i just left exotica i met people of all different like calipers people up in mainstream still think like that Like, hey, am I supposed to be doing this right? Am I supposed to be working with companies like, you know, Brazzers and stuff like that? Like, they have these same thoughts. So you just, it's it's times where you just got to tell yourself, like, yeah, you're doing it. (laughs) You're doing it. (laughs) Right? Like, you you belong. Like, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, as long as you're you're following your heart, you probably, like, because on the other side, if you think about it and you're, like, and if you just keep thinking about what, what would you would have been if you if you had followed your dream like I think that's more sad or scary than actually like going for it yeah yeah because you're always going to regret like not trying yeah Mm -hmm. yeah and it's never too late too don't get me started on the 80 year olds becoming millionaires now on their content (laughs) (laughs) like the world is our oyster (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I think do you have anything else you want to add Peach or anything you want to say in closing (laughs) Um, I just want to say like I love you guys (laughs) and like thank you so much for having me and thank you guys so much for like being pole instructors because I feel like it's really important to like have a community that you fit into and like have a comfortable like safe space to like express yourself and like you're providing that for people so like thank you so much oh yeah. <laughs> thank you for saying that <laughs> oh, and thank you for everything you do to mm-hmm. promote like sexual positivity and just make it known we should you definitely inspire me I'm like thinking now like, how can <laughs> I make my content more better <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, knew, I knew she was gonna inspire you and, and you know you also inspired me you always inspired me <laughs> every time I I meet and, and talk to you you're just like I said you're just a light so <laughs> I appreciate uh, you <laughs> I hope we can meet in person you know talk talk <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. 
<laughs> yeah, one of the pole dancing classes, like we'll we'll catch each other eventually. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> For sure. All right. Well, I guess um we'll we'll do our little sign off. <laughs> yeah. I'm Mandy Mack. <laughs> and I am Chris Rivers. <laughs> and we are. And we yes. are. <laughs> Fighting Fighting off. Off. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> I know.